Punkin. Yeah, what did you do? You did a very bad thing, Punkin. So uh, I had left my SD card with the vlog on it, half the vlog on it, on my laptop. And I think someone may have thought it was a toy and ran off with it. Did you run off with my SD card? I think you ran off with it, Punkin. No, you sleepy? From playing with my SD card, probably. I heard her running around playing with something. She has these little plastic Christmas ornaments that she plays with, and I assumed that that's what that sound was, but um, I don't think that that's what it was. Luckily, it was a new SD card. So it only had stuff from this week's vlog on it, but um, not great. Right, Pumpkin? Why'd you do that? You bad. So I'm filming a new intro to let everybody know that this is going to be a very odd vlog since I've lost half my footage. You know, with the plant stuff, you can't really reshoot things very easily because once you do a thing, you shouldn't really take it apart without hurting the plants. But there's still vlog because when I go out into the world, out into the public, I just use my phone or my small camera. So I have all that footage, just not the other half of the vlog. So, oops. I don't know. Uh, this is just a week of doing little things, little odds and ends. So I didn't really miss much. Exactly a week with lots of activities. I was just doing lots of little odds and ends. Thanks for the kisses, pumpkin. You're so sweet, even though you're a little thief, aren't you? My apologies. Don't really know how to remedy this one. Just life sometimes. So there's an, the explanation as to what's going on here. I'm going to go ahead and jump things off. What are you doing? You think you're going to get a treat? That's why you've been giving me kisses? You're not getting cookies. Okay, you can have one cookie. Uh-oh, pumpkin. You're almost out of cookies. Go on. Don't you want your cookie? There you go. You have to eat off my hand. I just cleaned the counters. There you go, good girl. Nothing like rewarding bad behavior. You have cats, they don't know. Hopefully I'll find that memory card and uh, yeah, here's the, here's what I'm able to salvage and put together. <laughs> Hope it's not a complete and total mess. Oh no, no, hold on. First, there was one thing that I know I wanted to talk about. So this is a different, I have tons of SD cards, they're everywhere. I have a uh, garden tour on here that I never edited and it never came out from uh, last year. It was the nighttime garden tour. Is that something people would want to see? Let me know. Cause I know it's a little bit odd since it's winter and it's from last year, but I still think it might be fun. It was mostly, I mean, I think it would just be music over the whole thing, but I don't know. I'm kind of missing summer and it might be fun to be able to get back and look at those things. Whoa, bunk in. What's in the microwave? What are you cooking? I will probably make that video anyways, but it would still be more fun if uh, I know that it's not like just totally a weird thing to do in the middle of winter. So, okay, now into the vlog. You're on something today, but sometimes when I am about to start filming a video, apparently talking's going to be an issue today. I get like a mental block and I'm like, I don't really, I don't fully know what I want to do here. Like I always have an idea of what I want to do but I can get hung up on it. And then I just turn into a mess of what's going on here. Anyways, hey, what's going on? What's up, garden friends? How's everybody doing? Jeff, your tropical plant party. I hope you're good. I am great. I'm sitting here with a bunch of plants laid out, working on Terrarium Tuesday. That This should have been out by now, so you will have known what I decided to do here. I have this, like, molten glass on driftwood thing and uh, I've wanted to plant it for a long time uh, I used to just have like water in it with some marimo balls which is like moss and it looked pretty neat but it was actually kind of high maintenance keeping it clean probably because I was just using my tap water I should have been using my filtered water no, no I want to I want it to still maintain the essence of water without actually having aquatic plants in it. So I was thinking about like trying to find some Pilea glauca, something like that, and keeping it really simple. I don't want to go too far into all that because this video where I actually, whatever the end result is, will have been out by now. So that's it's like why repeat the whole thing, but just a little, this is where I decided to start the vlog, which is me just sitting here being completely and totally hung up trying to decide what I want to do because initially I had been like hey I have these cryptanthus I have some more of this club moss here and I was like well the cryptanthus could look pretty coming down the slope here or maybe a couple of them in here with some sort of moss coming down that edge and it would look aquatic-esque 
But I don't think it really would, though. Okay, but see, here's where the problem comes in. The only other nursery that I know of that has a good selection of terrarium plants is that one that I went to in last week's vlog. Y'all were with me. Fantastic, amazing nursery, Plant Haven. I had an amazing time there. But they're kind of far away. I mean, it's not that bad. I know plenty of people drive much further to get to their nurseries. It's like, I don't know, 45 minutes maybe? And that's if traffic's good. So I don't know, what uh, what should I do? Oh, well, the clock's ticking, so I gotta figure something out. At least it should be fast, right? Cause I already know what they have. It was just here. Yeah, I'm not gonna film in there this time. Y'all would just, you just saw everything. Yeah, I mean, we were just here. No reason to spend too much time looking at the plants when, yeah, but okay, that's enough. Real quick. Look at how cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. I don't know what it is. A neat bromeliad. It's got some color to it. Like, it almost looks like a Nepenthes. But it's not. Uh, oops, how'd I get here? Okay, it was kind of on my way home. I mean, it was. It's, it is on my way home. And I thought I'd pop in again just to see if they started to get their spring pottery. I have a few little houseplants that I would like to repot. And I haven't been able to... Like, but I haven't really been able to find anything that I liked lately, so I want to see what they have. Ooh, uh, orchids and phalaenopsis. I'm already liking that. Yeah. I'm not walk around getting everybody's cooties on me. I don't think so. Not today. May as well wipe the camera down while I have it, right? Oh, I've actually just gotten so used to all of the orchids that I see when I go out that I don't really even look at them anymore. Not the Phalaenopsis orchids anyways, but these actually look pretty darn good. I mean, look at it. That's nice. Still have buds on them. Lots of buds. So when they get home, they'll still have a show to put on. That's cool. I'm not seeing anything that stands out or screams to me, but they look pretty. And healthy. That was the whole point there. They look healthy. Okay. It's um, not like what I've been seeing at other places, but I don't hate it. They got the stuff with the stands. I kind of like the cement planters that I've been seeing. They have a nice clean look to them. They don't detract from the plant too much. I mean, I like a loud, vibrant planter, but there's still something nice about that simple simplicity and these are nice cool colors i like those a lot the metal eh, i like it but I, I question the longevity a little bit because you know metal and water and rust no oh, that's kind of cute a little cactus what's going on here it's interesting and they they have it in a hanging version too one thing that I noticed last year, and there's even more of it this year and I'm seeing it in other places, is the removable drainage port. I like that. I like that a lot. Instead of just not putting holes in the pots, just putting a plug in there so people have an option. That's nice. I, that's good. I wish more people would do that. Those are kind of nice. Kind of like those. It doesn't really matter what I like. It's, you know, what is everybody else like? That's neat with the glazed drizzle. What I'm liking with the pottery that I'm seeing this year at a lot of places is there's a little bit more diversity. You know, it used to be there was like a range of hues with a glaze and that was pretty much it. There would be like burnt oranges and dark greens and dark blues and that was it for the year. There wasn't a lot to choose from, but there's all types of textures and shapes and colors. So there's more for everyone. I was wondering, like, why is this 1342? There's some coconut under my nails as planting some things. It's a three-piece. That looks cool. You can just keep all your little herbs or something together or like a cactus and you don't need me to tell you what to do with them but I think that's kind of cool. I like just the differences in the shapes. You know you have your squares and these are round but they still have some interest to them. Like this would look really cool with some Senecio coming down the sides. A string of pearls or string of bananas whatever type you like, but just something that trails and is kind of airy and you'd still get to see those scalloped edges on it, that would look really pretty. And with these you can do something really simple, and for whatever reason I'm still really drawn to this one, but I have no idea what I would do with it. It would look pretty cool with some succulents in it, that would look nice. Like again, could just kind of go to town on the top of this with some echeverias, and then have a trailer come over the side. Ooh, you know what? I think a burrows or a donkey's tail would look cool in there, wouldn't it? Oh, now I'm a little bit more tempted. Another thing I've been noticing is this, like, pumpkin shape. Doesn't that seem a little seasonal? I don't know about that. Like, I've seen them at Lowe's, but pre-planted with succulents in them. It seems a little seasonal to me, but 
No harm in it. Doesn't hurt anything. It still looks nice. It doesn't really matter what time of year. It looks cool. Oh, look at elevated saucers. That's not a bad idea. I mean, I don't... That doesn't look great, but I like the succulent planter that's in there. That's kind of cool. And it has a plug that comes out at the bottom. So you can use it as a drainage dish or as a little garden. Oh, here's something I'm happy to be seeing in retail stores. They're plant brackets. They go right onto your wall in terracotta pots with a lip on them. Slide right in there so you can do a little vertical garden. And they're only three seventy four dollars a piece. In the past, these were things I always had to find online. I mean, I've never seen them at any of my Walmarts before. Maybe they've had them for a while, but I've always had to like hunt them down on Amazon to try and find things like that. Just a nifty thing if you want to go vertical with your plants. And they have the ring ones. It's the same concept, but the plant has to be the size of what would fit into the ring there. Okay, they've got all kinds of stuff for how to basically set your plants up indoors or outdoors. Lots of stands and then more rings. That one's more like a globe sort of thing. Some macrame-esque stuff. A chalkboard planter over the rail planter. I think that that, what is that? Yeah, so that just, that right there goes in there and you just hang it over the edge of something, which is actually pretty nifty. I've been doing something like that with some of my tropicals for a few years, and um, I like it. I have a trellis that I hang them all on, and it just makes it easier for like my bromeliads, my orchids, and tropicals in general that are small that I want to take out for the summertime, but then I want to be able to easily bring them back in when the frost comes in the fall time. I think that's about it for this Walmart. Not really seeing anything else here. Nope, spoke too soon. <laughs> I think we already kind of looked at these things in a different vlog, right? Just the grow your own stuff kits. Some of them seem kind of cool, some of them not so great. Got some willow tree lights. Hey, that's kind of cool. Lots of different things for lighting, which is nice. The Walmart's actually been pretty good about having a selection for lighting, but I like these lanterns that are down here. I think those are nice. These are fun. I love color changing balls. I don't know how that's going to show on camera, but oh, yeah, you can see that. These have come way down in price. Back in the day, these things were like 50 bucks a piece. I mean, they were bigger, but they were very expensive. <laughs> Out of everything here that's like kind of classy looking, for, I'm, I'm into the ones that look like little hot air balloons because they're colorful and I like balloons. Yeah, and then the rest of everything is just hoses and timers. It's an okay price for a dual timer. Orbit, I like their stuff. What is this? Lightweight hook. Don't fat shame the other hoses. That's not nice. And a very nice selection of tiki torches, citronella lamps, like that one looks nice. Those are cool. Those are cool. I don't need, you can see them. There's a whole bunch of variety and they seem to correspond very well with the pottery, which would make sense. It's all from Better Homes and Gardens. Oh, Walmart was fun. I didn't get anything because but there weren't any cashiers, so I just left. But I did manage to get home and get the little terrarium finished up, which is good. I'm glad to have that done. It came out pretty much how I had envisioned or had hoped it would. It's got nice levels and layers in it. It's actually, it's the next day, just throwing that out there. So things have had a little bit of time to sort of perk back up from being planted. It's just a little bit different than how it looked in the video because like the pilea that's in there is gonna be more robust and it's not really as mad as it was from being split apart and everything and put in here like it was in that video. Sometimes with planters, I'll wait a few days to do like the final part of it. Like I'll plant them up, then give it a few days so they can adjust and look nice. But with this one, I was like, I don't think I need to do that. It's because everything that's in here is already pretty versatile and sturdy. Anyways, I like how it turned out. And here's a better shot of that button fern. I didn't really get a good shot in that in the video, but it's looking good. Everything's standing up and doing its thing. And I feel like you can actually see the bluish hue to that pilea much better right now than you could in that video. Probably from the difference in lighting. I have like lights everywhere when I'm using my main camera and those kind of, they can affect how things, no, that still looks pretty blue. Maybe a little bit more green. Yeah, it still looks pretty. Now that that's done, I can go ahead and actually set it up in the kitchen. This counter's <laughs> getting very full of terrariums. They're not all going to stay on this counter. I'll, I don't want to do like a full terrarium tour right now. I'm going to wait till the end of Terrarium Tuesday. But this one, that's definitely staying over here. And, you know, having the open top on it's probably going to be pretty beneficial in this case. Just because it does have this 
pool of water in the bottom. So that's going to help the moisture kind of get out so things don't get too wet in there. There's a balance, you know? You don't want things to be constantly soaked. Sorry, I'm laughing because I almost just tripped over my tortoise. What you doing, Colbs? Uh, why are you trying to trip me, Colby? Yeah, I know. You want food. You always want food. Look how well the lady slippers are doing. Lady slippers? I love Pafio Pedulums. Sometimes they don't love me, but these are the uh, Super Suck. Super Suck Eureka crossed with Raisin Pie H Singing. These are, in my experience, for me, as someone who doesn't always do great with Pafio Pedulums, the, the Super Suck has been a good one. They're a more sturdy one. Usually it's just while they're in flower. Once they're done flowering, I do better with them, and it's that's mostly because I need to get them repotted. The nursery pots that they come in are usually just sphagum, which is fine. Toby, you're making all kinds of noise back there. What are you doing? Oh, you being, he is being chased by the tortoise. Anyways, I've do always done better with the super socks, particularly once I repot them. And I don't like to repot them until they're done flowering, so they get just, they're getting watered a lot. So it's nice, the sphagnum moss holds on to moisture for a minute, but it, once it dries out, it's like bone dry, and it's a pain rehydrating it, so I prefer to not keep them in pure sphagnum. I do better with them, though. How did we get here? I don't know. Who, know. who knows how these things happen? Did I do it? Did I manage to edit the thing back together? Probably not. It's probably a mess, but you know, it's okay. It's, we're just having a good time here. So I hope every- oh, no, no, no. Poblano update. We got, let's go look at the poblanos and say goodbye outside. Yep, <laughs> there they are. They haven't changed much since last week, but the flowers on the plant are starting to uh, sort of die off and not want to focus. But you can see that they're starting to bulk out and fruit up a little bit. The poblano and the uh, basil are on that water wicking cord. In last week's vlog, I put that wicking cord in the bottom of these pots. Well, just the basil. I did the poblano off camera. And I was talking about how I've been having a few issues keeping them hydrated, and uh, I haven't had to water them since. So that is working very, very, very well. And lots of new growth on that basil since I gave it a very big cut back last week. And um, yeah, they all seem really, really, really happy. I did bring out my elbow. It's been inside rooting for a while. I received a cutting in the mail that was supposed to be an, an established, well-rooted plant and it was not so it had to take the place of the monstera but it was time to get this potted up anyways it's always a scary thing to do when taking from moss to soil it, and i did i lost some roots when i pulled it i thought i was being really careful but a few came off so i'm just like keeping my fingers crossed that it reestablishes itself and uh, hopefully it'll be okay because that's not something i would ever purchase you know this was a gift a very generous gift and not but i would never go out and spend $200 on a cutting, so I'd like for it to do well. I was just, in case you're wondering why that's out here, that's what that's about. But the water wicking cord is working wonderfully. They seem to be doing great, right? I think so. I actually had intended for there to be a video out this week using some water wicking cord and talking about some self-watering things, but my supplies didn't show up, so I guess that's going to have to wait till next week. Sorry about that. That's why there's no Thursday video, because I don't, I didn't have, the materials never showed up. Really? So I put that plastic back up and I made sure to like clean the surfaces really, really well first. The Gorilla Tape didn't work in this year. I don't understand that. It worked great last year. Okay, well, good thing the ladder's still out. I can throw it back up there. I'm going to run a chain probably from these brackets and across and actually hang it because this is getting kind of ridiculous. I wondered why it was so chilly in here with the heaters running and everything. That would be why yep that's the problem okay good to know oh and i did get that bromeliad i couldn't look at how cute it is with these little cups it's just adorable if you have any idea what variety this is please let me know because i've done there's so many different types of bromeliads out there that it's i could not find a name on it but I would like to know because look at just that's just so stinking adorable. Got some nasty spikes on it, but it's cute. Okay, well that concludes this 
week of just what the heck happened. Yeah, sometimes it's just how the vlogs go when I don't have like big projects. It's just little bits of things here and there. Everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life and everything's just going beautifully for you. Oh, no focus, okay. All of my social media is linked down below. There's Instagram more than anything else. It's probably the best place to get a hold of me. And if you haven't already, you'd like to, you can give the video a like. It makes a big difference for the videos and for the channel and I appreciate it. And subscribe as well and hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. Ha, huh, what's the deal? Okay, so there's just a delay. Sometimes that happens. Technology, it never does what it's supposed to, right? Oh, and comment down below. Say hi. Love talking to everybody. What's going on with your gardens? The tips and tricks are always appreciated. Yeah, let me know. Let me, let me know what's up. All right, time for me to run, as always. And most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Don't you just hate those stupid flowers? I gotta get that off of it. Bye-bye.